Hey Collective, this is July 1st, and this is your bonus reading from yesterday. So this is considered today's reading and your bonus reading. <clears throat> I wish I had time to do more. Um, you can subscribe and comment and make this channel a little bit more popular if you want. That way I can do this more often for you. But in the meantime, let's get your bonus reading today. This is July 1st, 2022. And this is a three card reading for you, collective. <clears throat> three cards. So we're gonna look at the current position, a possibility or problem, and the outcome of the interaction of these. So the position, possibilities or problems, and then the outcome. On a three, please grab clear, concise messages. Thank you. Man. All right, let's get the first card. After I get the first card as a jumper, I'm going to go ahead and draw the other two from the deck here. And we'll probably look at bottom of the deck energy for the reading as well. This is the current position. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's just get one facing up card for the position. I'm just looking for one face up card, please. All right, we have two here. I'm actually going to put these right next to each other. It's very interesting. Wow, okay. <laughs> interesting collective. Very nice. All right, so let's see. First off, I want to suggest if this is a love or romance reading for you in terms of a partnership, uh, a coupling, or a couple, that type of thing. There could be marriage, contracts, that type of thing here as well. Um, if that's the case for you, there could be a lot of happiness here and an actual contract or something that feels rather karmic, <clears throat> especially emotionally here. So in the current position, we have the King of Wands. Again, I'm just going to read this briefly in all different ways, but for a love or romance reading, this is really that mature male energy, right? The big daddy energy. And it's passion, creativity, sex, and romance. So uh, this is also, you know, fifth house. There's a lot of, there's leisure energy. This is affection. And, you know, this is a fire sign male or a lot of fire sign, older fire sign elements or say attributes here if you're not actually dealing with a Leo. Um, so very nice for you. If this is not love or romance, this is definitely about entrepreneurship, you taking the lead in your own life and learning to enjoy things through hard work um, and enjoying the fruits of your labor here, Seeing, being seen as a leader. Um, almost effortlessly here as well, collective. Here in the possibility or problem, <clears throat> right? This is the queen of wands. So here we have his perfect counterpart. You know, I would say if this is a possibility more than a problem here, unless you want to get away from this person, but in terms of, you know, connections for love or romance, this is beautiful. You're even of the same element. So there's a lot of, you know, natural affinity here. That's really nice to see. If um, this is not an Aries or fire sign female or older, sort of fiery, expressive, generous, you know, affectionate type of female, then this is that type of energy, just a lot of, you know, enjoyment and again, hard work, but this is the, it's the 
pursuit is the pleasure here so it's um self-driven energy we do have this you know uh, I always say there's animals whenever we see here so there's animal attraction here animal magnetism here there could physically be a cat or some sort of animal involved um, like if someone has a cat here but in terms of you know this is um, very coy very flirty energy I, again and I scratch coy it's not coy this is very you know hot and heavy and it's expressive energy I just mean in terms of being able to play that like masculine feminine off of each other here uh, someone is very happy in their role so and if this is business or, or not a lover romance reading for you and this is your possibility or problem then this is taking action through nurturing so you want to nurture this project nurture this development or this progress even if it's in your spiritual life here so the future or the outcome right ten of cups holy smokes totally beautiful there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here this is great happiness <clears throat> this is a happy family Everyone seems to benefit here. So really in any sense for love or romance for really any area of your life, right? So these are general readings, but no matter what you're applying this to, the Ten of Cups is welcome no matter where it shows up. And you know, in full full honesty here, so are these guys. These are really positive energies. They can be considered selfish and self-directed here. I mean, if this is you and your own reading, then you are self-developing toward your own personal happiness here. <clears throat> and um, you're gaining a lot of success from this. And you could be helping others as well, right? This is happiness regarding the people around you. So bottom of the deck energy, we have the Justice card, Libra energy. And then we have the Page of Swords. So interesting. So karmic communications, karmic attraction. Um, definitely with regard to communication and study, right? This is the spy card. So someone's feeling like there is sort of, I'm getting po um, gold at the end of the rainbow, the pot of gold here. I don't know how else to explain it, but there's a very, that's the feeling that all of these cards are giving me right now. And yeah, this is just learning more about maybe how to take this to the next level, communicating about that. Um, but yeah, justice, karma, this could, if this is a legal situation for you, this is very, I would say, a positive outcome. And on the balance, you could find out in, in advance as well what the outcome is. Here is uh, with regard to a decision. So yes, very interesting. There could be a, an air sign child here involved as well if that's your story. So yeah, and partnerships, right? So very much highlighted. That is a beautiful reading for your three card bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I love doing these for you guys. If it was helpful to someone out there, it makes it worth it. That's what this is all about. And I thank you as always for joining me. See you tomorrow for your next reading. Happy Canada Day. Bye for now.